guess this is my new uh, video setup, I guess, because I don't have a computer and I'm too lazy to fix it. True, st never mind, I'll keep that secret. But, anyways. That looks good. So anyways, like I said last night, I believe that uh, John Jones was going to beat Cyril Gaunt, as that his name is, because uh, uh, Francis Naganyu out-wrestled that guy. And Francis Naganyu has really fucking no wrestling with him. It's improved over the years, but it's still not like, you know, John Jones level type wrestling. So I figured that it was going to be a grapple and, uh, it was going to be a grapple and, uh, dominance from, uh, John. And it's, cause after, cause, uh, just watching John Jones my entire life, I just knew how it was going to go. I was, cause, uh, you know, Daniel Cormier is heavyweight. And he was actually a really dominant wrestler at heavyweight. And we all know what happened in those two fights, even though, you know, there's background in that. Uh, so, yeah. Hate to say I was right, but I was pretty much right. Honestly, that's actually... I was actually kind of still shocked by that because I always figured that if John went to heavyweight, he probably wouldn't be as good as he was at light heavyweight. But after watching that, I actually kind of think... Like, he, like looking back on it, I believe he would destroy Francis Ngannou because, like... That's actually the fight I want to see next, except that Stipe, there's that Stipe fight, which is... That's probably going to be a harder fight, but... Hell, Daniel Cormier was able to beat Steve Bay at one point. And MMA math is not what you should be going off of, but still, you should take it into account. So, uh, yeah, I believe that if John, uh, fat guy talking about fighting, whatever, <laughs> I just know what the comments are going to say. But, um, wish I had my fucking computer sitting here in the fucking car talking. <laughs> you know. But, anyways. What was I going to say? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen in that Steve A fight because uh, after seeing that, I think John is a pretty dominant heavyweight. Because I like I always wonder what if he goes up to heavyweight what he's going to look like because he never fought there. But after seeing him fight there, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, convinced that he's pretty going to be a pretty dominant heavyweight. I wonder what his punching power is going to be like at heavyweight, though. Because, like, Daniel Cormier said that, like, he don't punch that hard. But I figure out that way he might be able to punch harder. If he... And he always, he obviously has the uh, reach advantage over everybody still at heavyweight. I'm starting to... Like, I pretty, like, it's pretty, like cemented that he's the greatest of all time. There ain't no debate at this point. So, people keep saying Khabib, but Khabib retired. I don't I don't get the Khabib-John Jones comparison whatsoever. No offense. 
But, like, Khabib retired after, like, the third title fight. And John Jones has had, like, 16 title fights. And, and won every single one of them. So, it's like... You know. That's my opinion on it. I need to get my computer fixed. <laughs> Nash just said he bet bet money on it, but it was a joke or Joe Biden's ghost, whatever he was fucking doing. But uh, yeah, he watched it. I wasn't able to watch it because I'm broke as a joke. Eighty for yeah, eighty dollars for a fucking title for a fight. That's like the stupidest thing. No offense, Dana White, but it's you need to lower your fucking price. <laughs> but yeah. That's my opinion on it. <laughs> I'm kind of uh, messy in my car. <laughs> I gotta clean up my car or whatever, you know. But anyways, there you go.